So now that we've confirmed that the drama channels have a little bit of a bias with Jeffree Star and don't cover too many stories about him, I thought we would discuss this situation where Jeffree Star kind of threw some shade at James Charles in his new video. But unlike other drama videos you watch, by the time you leave here, you'll be a little bit smarter because not only are we gonna talk about psychology, we're also gonna talk neuroscience. So moving forward, I wanna let you guys know something. I'm done. I am done with the tea, with the drama, and I don't wanna be involved in anyone's situations anymore. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Now, for those of you who are not in the know yet, if you want to understand a little bit more about the bias and everything like that and drama channels versus James Charles. Watch the video I just did yesterday about James Charles versus Team Sp uh, T-Spill and the drama channels. I dive into psychology as well as some philosophy and everything like that. Go check that video out. All right, so yeah, uh, I got some messages and things like that and saw clips from Jeffree Star's new video. You might not know this, but I do not watch Jeffree Star's content. All right, <laughs> so I wanna discuss this. So a couple things. Not only do I wanna talk about bias, but I also want to talk about people changing and actions speaking louder than words. So here's the thing, those of you who know me, like I am against cancel culture. What I really want people to do is just start to understand like, why are we harder on these people than we are on these people, right? Like why are channels harder on James Charles than they are on Jeffree Star? Now, simple answer to that is the psychology of expectancy theory, all right? People expect Jeffree Star to act the way that he's acting. But I just wanna discuss a little bit because Jeffree Star continues to have this kind of free pass, but he keeps saying he's gonna change, and that's something that he hasn't really done. So those of you who don't know the backstory, Jeffree Star and James Charles, they used to be thick as thieves. They used to be good, good, good buddies. So when James Charles' uh, palette first came out, there was all sorts of stuff happening. So uh, somebody ended up destroying James Charles' palette, and James Charles got very frustrated and upset about it, and he said some things publicly about it. And then uh, Jeffree Star and James Charles, they got together and they destroyed some other makeup that they didn't like and they donated some money to charity and everything all right like it was a very cool little moment of friendship for them also uh those of you who know uh the drama channel cody rance she had an allergic reaction to uh james charles palette and jeffrey star and james charles they joined together and they you know shaded cody rance in her new video and it was terrible it was terrible too because like james charles audience like went and attacked cody and like let me tell you like what i'm really trying to really talk about in a lot of my videos lately is like it's okay to disagree with people it's okay to criticize people but like the hate mobs and the ridiculousness that stuff needs to stop all right like we should be able to have these conversations and just kind of get our wheels turning without people getting outraged over these subjects but anyways like i said jeffree star and james charles they used to be super duper good friends now like, if you haven't read my book, Cancelled, Inside YouTube Cancel Culture yet, make sure you do. It's always linked in the description down in the pinned comment below. So in it, I discuss how I kind of set myself up for failure <laughs> when I befriended drama channels. Actually, here's, here's an excerpt from that book. Seven years ago, I was taught everything was my fault. This is a great way to live. When you realize everything is your fault, or at least you try to think that way, you take responsibility and start improving your life. In psychology, they call this having an internal locus of control. So when I say this was completely my fault, it was. The dumb decision I made was trying to befriend drama channels and they ended up turning on me and playing a huge part in taking me down. Again, I don't blame the drama channels for this. I blame myself. Blaming them would be like blaming a porcupine for quilling me because I made the dumb decision to pet it. That's what porcupines do. So I can't blame the porcupine. Drama channels start drama. It's in their DNA. 
So what I'm getting at is you saw that James Charles and Jeffree Star's relationship was being petty and throwing shade at people and all this other stuff. And that's why we gotta be mindful of who we hang out with. You know what I mean? Because what ended up happening was when James Charles and Tati Westbrook ended up having their whole situation and everything like that, Jeffree Star was going off. And if you're watching this video, I probably don't gotta dive too deep into it, but Jeffree Star, he made very serious allegations against James Charles. Like very serious, like the type of allegations that could get somebody arrested. And Jeffree Star said, I have receipts, I'm gonna expose them and everything like that. But after teasing everybody with this, Jeffree Star decided to be the bigger person and he came out with this video where he said he wasn't gonna do that. And I knew it was gonna be hurtful to James and I didn't really think about how you would feel and I'm so sorry. So moving forward, I want to let you guys know something. I'm done. I am done with the tea, with the drama, and I don't want to be involved in anyone's situations anymore. This was a huge wake-up call to reel me in because I have been really healing myself. I'm in such a good place. So for me to digress and go back to Jeffrey from years ago, I'm embarrassed of myself. So this video was from months ago. And this is what I'm talking about when we talk about actions speak louder than words. One of the things is, is that the news cycle, especially in the beauty drama community, it moves so fast. A lot of us forget what people say and everything like that. So here's a great example. I remember when Logan Paul did the infamous Logan Paul thing, I was like, okay, when somebody apologizes, like, it takes time. It takes, you don't just immediately forgive somebody. You have to see, do they improve? And to be honest, like, where Logan Paul is now compared to when he was in Japan, like, it's, it's much different. Like, he's not somebody that I would personally kick it with, but he has been a lot less controversial as time has gone on. So, like, good for him. But, like, we were able to watch that growth. With Jeffree Star, he said, like, oh, I'm done with all this, I don't want to do it, da 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 But then, today, in his video, he said this. Wild Kiss, what was it called? Ooh, they got wet and wild. I wonder if they have the new James Charles palette. Um, okay, they have LA Color. <laughs> they have... <gasps> It's right here, you guys. Oh my God. So I just want you guys to think about that. I've talked about this on my channel before. Like, you need to realize who you're watching is influencing your thoughts, your behaviors, your mood, all right? Many of you know I'm big on mental health. If you keep watching certain types of content, it's, it's going to affect you. Like hell, like maybe my contact, uh, content affects you in a negative way. Quit watching it. Watch things that improve your thoughts and your emotions and how they go. But like when you're watching people just constantly be petty and everything like that, like how is that benefiting you? But anyways, um, as many of you know, I've been really diving into like moral psychology and everything like that. So we sit here and we ask ourselves like, why will the drama channels like cover so such small stories when it comes to James Charles, but not from Jeffree Star? So anyways, in the book I just finished, The Righteous Mind, which I highly recommend, uh, they talk about this neurological study that they did. So this was actually during the Bush administration, all right? so. Um, they took conservatives who backed Bush and they, you know, talked to them and they played into their confirmation bias. They're like, oh, Bush is a great person, yay, yeah, ha, ha. and right? And when your beliefs are confirmed, they can actually see that your brain spurts out dopamine. You get pleasure when your beliefs are confirmed, right? But then they talked, they told the people who were hooked up to the fMRI that Bush said nothing but good things about like the president of Enron, okay? And if any of you know about Enron, that place like they ended up, you know, getting in a lot of trouble because they're doing shady things, they hurt the market and all sorts of stuff, right? So when they pointed that out to the people who were conservative and backed Bush, it started to trigger the receptors in their brain for pain and for fear. All right, because what happens is it starts challenging their belief. So their belief is this is a good person, this person doesn't do anything wrong. So their brain started to get conflicted. We don't like our beliefs challenged. But anyways, when they ended up telling them that uh, George Bush later on came out and he spoke up and said, hey, you know, my opinions changed, I've distanced myself and da 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 da, the people were like, ah, right? But 
when given the exact same kind of scenario to those people about a democratic person or liberal person who they didn't like, they weren't going to give them nearly as much leniency, all right? And that's just the way our brain works. Like I said, I don't, I don't expect any of you to flip a switch, but just be mindful of it. Like when we talk about the bias in the drama community, this is why when their brain is leaning more towards Jeffree Star, they're gonna minimize every single bad thing he does. But since a lot of the drama community doesn't like James Charles, it's going to inflate everything that he does. So just recognize that. Watch drama channels all you want. Watch my content all you want. I just want you to be able to take some of this information and bring it outside into the real world and try to improve your life, all right? But the last thing I just wanna remind you of is just pay attention to people and remember, actions speak louder than words, okay? But anyways, like I said, down in the description, down in the pinned comment, if you haven't picked up a copy of my book, Canceled Inside YouTube, Cancel Culture, make sure you get it because I also have an entire chapter about people who are immune to cancel culture, and it's people like Jeffree Star, Trisha Paytas, Keemstar, Shane Dawson, and Tana Mojo, all in that chapter. So go check it out, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And a huge thank you to everybody else who supports the channel in other ways, like getting my merch or my books and all that kind of stuff. You're all amazing, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.